welcome back to the gaming library. I am the librarian of the day, Bruno Fightmaster, and we are going to get started with uh, a game that's had no little measure of controversy here as of uh, as of late, Pokemon Shield. Uh, I'm a pretty big Pokemon player here myself, um, and this has been one where I've been I've been excited to get a new generation, a new uh, region to explore, but there's been quite a bit of controversy on this game as far as, you know, uh, how big the Pokedex is and some of the uh, mechanics that they've added in, but, you know, I'm, I've am i decided to, while I understand them, I'm going to go ahead and play this game anyway and see what my initial thoughts are. I would rather watch and play the game and get an idea for myself before I just immediately take all the criticism as gospel. So, with that being said, let's dive right in. Ooh, something big's happening. Who are you? And why are you not a professor? So now society is able to thrive. Oh, hello. You're interesting. Thanks to the help of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon all around us, in the sea, the sky, even in our towns. You choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete. We call Pokemon trainers. Oh, but I'm gonna kill you. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. See, you say it's a pleasure to be here, but your eyes look dead inside. Now turn your gaze to Galar, Reason's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. Champion Leon's Exhibition Match. Okay, that's interesting. It automatically uh, says, hey, here is... Oh, you are... You're rather magnificent, aren't you? Except with that uh, chin strap there. And you have a Charizard. Of course you do. I just... Uh, Alright. This is fine, I guess. Exhibition will not be on your pristine record is about to end. You know I told these battles, Raihan. Or however you pronounce his name. Charizard Dynamax. Wow. You're big. You're basically just a fat Charizard X though. That's a nice little cottage. Well, I'm guessing he's your rival. You guys have a munchlax. Nice. And there's me messing around on... I don't know, whatever it is. Hop. Is that your name? Your name is Hop? Is that your flash new phone, Bruno? You watching Lee's exhibition match? Bet you can't cheer him on with your hands full. A flash phone? That's what they're called? The only way to properly cheer would be his famous Charizard pose. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly why I came running over to get Bruno. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it all recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. God, okay. Come with me, bro. He should be here any minute. And he always brings presents, so I won't forget that bag of I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. At mine, what? I'm guessing like his house, apartment, cottage, whatever it is. And then 
we just stare for lonely? Until we then get up. <laughs> okay. Guy also has a switch. You grab Dad's old bag. Oh, Dad's old bag, huh? Got a cool hat and little floof. Open the X menu. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. Okay. <laughs> I know this is supposed to be for you know. A younger audience, but okay. Uh, select save by the X menu. Sure, They'll give you a town map to start, which is nice. Mother, oh, you don't you look like? Oh, don't you look a treat? This is an interesting way of speaking. No going into the forest, which means I must immediately go into the forest. I was waiting for you. Better head outside. See, everyone was saying the graphics were really bad and that, and then they felt it was from, like, a previous generation, but... I mean, they're not awful. Doesn't seem... doesn't seem bad. Look at you, Bruno. That bag looks like it completely pull you over. Yeah, it is a massive thing. At least we know it should hold anything we might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Woo. But what's he doing here? And why is it trying to it's trying to roll out through the uh, gate here? Interesting. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now listen, no going past that fence. No. Everyone knows scary Pokemon are living in the slumbering weald. Okay. Meh. That's great. Now that's taken care of. How better, Bruno? Let's race. I bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging around that big old bag? And also, you get a head start. I mean, that hardly seems fair. Now, see, that looks nice already. Like, Pokemon actually find in the wild. That's a really big area. The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon just by walking around. It's that super... We've already done... We've always done that. I don't want to hear it. Hey, Bruno. Hop was looking for you, you know? But no need to go to the next town to find him. He is right next door, right? Well, I mean, yeah. I kind of assumed. Your rival, partner, friendo, whatever it is, is normally right next door. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, you brought along Bruno. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you crammed him in a cupboard? <laughs> okay. He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station at Wedgehurst. And that's where I'm going. I know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost along the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's, that's probably for the best. Gotta come with me, Bruno. You still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out a chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on the route. That is a fancy fridge. I don't know if that's like a camera in it or. To hop his brother's a superhero. Yeah, I can tell. He's. <laughs> he's a. He's won many awards. Probably not quite as many as Walt's tank of cash, but a lot of awards. And yes, I know that that joke is only for me. But that's okay. And someone really likes his ball caps. And likes to get swole. So 
some interesting posters here. The top three most popular popular Pokemon in Galar. <sighs> okay, really? I mean Charizard, yeah, I guess. And I don't I don't know about the other two. Okay. I mm. 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 Okay. Anyway, out we go. Let's go find our friend down at the train station. Now that the Wooly has magically disappeared. Oh, he didn't go too far. That's fine. See, this looks good, actually. This looks very good. I like this shot. Only remember, Bruno, wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I got my Wooly with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon. Not you. So we'll still clear the tall grass. Says you. Maybe I'll go right into it. You can't stop me. Actually, you probably can, but... See, like, I like this. This is a nice... Nice picturesque scene. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking the capture. No wandering into that tall grass if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. Oh, God. I forgot he was supposed to be Cockney. Let's go meet Lee at the station. It's a dead end from here. Oh, yeah, you know, with everyone there standing outside. Sneak to the grass? Oh, nope. Fine. That's a stance. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise to keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for all of you to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon, you your charge with the greatest. Uh, well, you won't be here in about uh, 20, 30 hours once I'm done with you. <laughs> well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on in training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. <laughs> battle skills like you taught us to. That Charizard is too strong for us to be. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work hard to become the strongest trainer in all the world. Guar. Grar? Grar. There we go. Lay. Hog. So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hob. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the point. That's a what? <laughs> That's a weird statement. It's even weirder that he apparently knows. And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Bruno, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar Reason's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan. Like everyone is. Come on, Lee. And you, Bruno. I bet I can beat you both back home. And Hop, always willing to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he pushed himself to become something truly special. Bid you farewell today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. I... okay. That's... alright. You are... you're rather fabulous there, bud. Also, take off the cape. <laughs> Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Bruno and me Pokemon, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. Grass type Garuki, the fire Pokemon Scorbunny, and the water Pokemon Sobble.
Line up, everyone. Which will you choose? Well, there's not a lot of life in the eyes behind your main character, but there's some. I got my woo after all, you pick first. Yeah, because then you're going to pick whatever... Uh, well, I don't know. You might not pick whatever my weakness would be. You might pick what my strength would be, depending on what version of this we're going. Uh, I haven't really seen the final evolutions for everybody, but I think I'm going to go with a choice I haven't made in quite some time. I think water, because it was... Because normally it would be... Normally it was Charizard in the original, because, you know, I was young and wanted to be like Ash. I think Free Alligator was Gen 2. 3 was... What was Gen 3? Was that Snivy? I think that was Snivy. Gen 4... I think was... Was that Torterra? Anyway, it's been mostly fire. It's been mostly uh, fire and grass. So I'm gonna do water this time. I chose Sobble. Would you like to help with him? No, not this time around. Hi, friend. So it'll be Sobble for you. Nice one. I'll go with Score Bunny. You are mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Wow, that sheep is much bigger than the rabbit. Oh, wow. And that makes it even more appropriate, because his name is Hop. And it gets the rabbit. That's, that's fantastic. So I brought these Pokemon to you so the two of you can battle and train and grow strong together and try and reach me. What about me, coach? And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He'll be strict, but real strong and real kind, too. Okay, so... The champion gets my weakness. Interesting. Alright, enough of this trainer nonsense. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Some rather large skewers. We all healed after the roughest day in the world. You spent your whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right, understanding one another, maybe even built up a bit of love? It's been 12 hours, bud. Calm down. Of course I have, Lee. Bruno has made fast friends with his Sobble, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion, and my massive amount of baseball caps. What are you looking at him for? I'm the one to come challenge you. If you think Bruno might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. I'm not planning to lose and to him and miss out on my next chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a battle with Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise the Pokemon to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, but you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Oh, wow, that was, uh, okay. Let's see how you hear yourself with your battle and your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing to take Hop on a first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Do I have a choice? Can I just, like, leave and go on my own? Oh, no. So, no, I don't actually have a choice. Me and Scorbrand are ready to get it. Ready to have a go at you anytime. Alright, then, yes. Let's, let's fight. Have a champion time battling. God. Watched every match that it's ever had. Read every book and magazine left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do to win. Challenge my 
trainer, huh? Now see, I don't see how this is fair. You already have two Pokemon to start. Pokemon battles is then I've got two partners with me. I suppose you're low enough. What time? It wasn't really a pound so much as a headbutt, but you know. Who am I to judge? So far, so Pokemon. The models are nice. So this game does look really good. So I'm gonna guess what's gonna happen is so now I'm gonna get a level up here. I'm gonna get water gun. So that means that the second battle here is gonna be easier. It's like I played a Pokemon game before. It's not over yet. I've had another trusty ally to my team. Uh, I know. I was there when you got your trusty ally. And unfortunately, now your trusty ally is about to be, you know, soaked. And it's going to be sad. Do you already know about type advantages? I haven't been playing this game for, you know, years. So yes, I have been. Hmm. <laughs> Cool. Super effective. Pokemon gain experience points like they always do, because this is a Pokemon game. Ooh, another level up. You defeat a Pokemon trainer, hop. Beat my two with one, you and it's solo too much. No, it's because this is the opening fight. It's hard to lose for someone who has played every one of the games that they've made. Well, that was a shock. I guess I know why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon, too. Your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Sabo. Why don't I get you all sorted? Bernie, you got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a rival to Hop, will you? Push him, make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You seem better now, Lee, so come on, you gotta take me to one of the Pokemon gyms. You? Join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. Oh, again with another uh, Professor Kukri. Not Kukri. That's a that's a knife. That's a knife. Something along those lines. Kukui, maybe. I forget what his name is, but the one who was specifically all about you know uh, making puns. If that's what you really want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Bruno. Before you think about getting gym badges, best think about getting Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn a lot of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of the trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Something like that. Hashtag people who are mad about Dexit. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is then. We're on it. I don't know what's going on with Hop's voice here. Like, I keep trying to do voices, and he just keeps switching. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon research for you, lab, for you and me, Bruno. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page of the tale of my legend. You probably better go tell your mom we're heading out, though. Bruno, did you hear that just now? Well, I mean, there was a big exclamation above your head as well. The gate's open, and the wound through that was there. He was tackling the vents pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. No one's supposed to go in there. 
I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Bruno, what do you say? Alright, even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in. I mean, I guess. thought I was supposed to go tell Mom that, uh... I was leaving, but... Alright, cool. Now let's just go into the Forbidden Zone. That's fine. As I said, we're going into the forest. I wonder if this is where I get to meet Sword Dog and Shield Dog. That Wulu, where do you think it got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Oh, it's a Pokemon. It's a chipmunk! It's a, uh... Squawf it. Okay. Okay, I can dig it. Pit. Okay. That's about the same as normal. Okay, bye. Hooray, XP. I love XP. I'm sorry, what? Oh, that's right, you could sneak up on this. Not right now, though. Doing alright this all? Let me show you. Okay. Yeah, another thing to heal. That's fine. Dun 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 dun. It's the bird. Look at the. Alright. I should kinda like that. Looks angry. He's an angry bird. Uh, mm, no, sorry. Mm. <laughs> Well, it's Angry Birds is the thing, so I'm not infringing on anything there. Okay, we're good. It's alright, I didn't break copyright. I'm not going into trademark infringement. Now, if my time with Pokemon has taught me anything, there might be a thing over here. There is not. That's unfortunate, but okay. <laughs> Well, they've done the same thing that they did with uh, the last one here, telling you what's good and what's not, which is fine. Is this still tutorial land? Yeah, it's still tutorial land. Okay, that's fine. Now, well, it might be in real trouble. I mean, I doubt it. But we'll see. What's behind the fog gate? Is it sword dog or shield dog? This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think, it, I think I get now why this place is off limits. Okay, so there's actually a little bit of... There's some facial expression there. Not a lot. <gasps> it is! It's Shield Dog! So I'm gonna lose. Can I run? Oh no, I can't. Cool. So I just get to watch my Pokemon faint. Or he's not even there? Hmm. Interesting. 
interesting. Bruno, I can't see anything. You okay? I'm about to not be. More mist. And everything goes white. I can't see anything. I think that's the point. <laughs> Hello, dog. And not the dog on the screen, but the dog in my world. And now is demanding the pets. Oh, yep. Knock me out. Bruno! Why, oh, Lee, how'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get your pants with directions? So pants is apparently just a synonym for bad? Okay. Oh, that's nice to hear from your little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's Wooloo? We're trying to rescue the Wooloo. Meh. Little chap's just fine. Though you had fainted by the time I found you here, you know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. At least all that... At least that... Ooh, was all that gabbering yeah, I thought we had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed no stronger than the Pokemon I've ever seen, and it just had the sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it? So fearsome Pokemon, they say live in the slumbering wild. Are they actually illusions or something? If get strong enough, maybe the two of you can be the ones to reveal that truth someday. But now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. Let's make a pretty fine page. First page in the tale of my legend. Yeah, okay. Don't forget to tell your mum we're off to Wedgehurst. She'll go spare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Postwick. I guess that's the town word. So, I guess I need some, uh... Gotta learn myself a thing to hear about the uh, mannerisms. Why? Oh, now isn't that Sobble just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here you are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Sabo will battle to the very end for you, so don't you go pushing that poor deer too hard. And you, Sabo, look after my little Bruno. Come home to rest any time you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Yeah, alright. Where's my... Um, wait, my room's over here. That's right. Do I have... The latest video game console sitting by the telly. They really have gone real far into a uh, real far into the Britain there. Oh, okay, that's kind of nice. I just noticed that the game tells you what you're doing next. Okay, nice, nice. I do like when the game like kind of helps out for people who maybe don't or aren't going to do the thing like I'm going to do and basically just play this almost non-stop until you know, since I have the day off today.
Here we go. This is quite a big step, you know. My first step to becoming the next champion. I guess I'll probably train up Squall Bunny a bit, having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple and the purple roof, the great red and white arm mark on the front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. As if I didn't really already, or if I couldn't guess from that. All right. But also, I think I'm right there with you. I'm gonna go. Well, no. Let's let's make a Pokemon surprise. You're gonna make me go through it, aren't you? You wouldn't want to wake up the sleep sleeping woolly right? Better take the long way around. Uh huh. Okay, so a little bit of force tutorial, but that's fine. You come here, little rat. This is happening. Gonna have to beat you up real quick. Don't mind me. Okay. Salt just spits at everyone. He angry. Here's another one. Actually, these guys are a little more. These guys are a little beefier. Another level up. Hooray. Ooh, the bind? Hmm, alright. Ooh. That's a new one. I like it. Nicked it. That's actually very cool. I like that one. Probably just the, uh, the. Okay. Oh. Oh no, you're just weak. That's fine. Pray the luck. Come on, bird brain. Bring it. And yes, I I know that this is going to be. Oh, a nerve, eh? Interesting. Okay, okay. I mean, let's be real, it's not going to be that difficult, but... I would like to, you know... A good benefit of doubt that maybe it'll surprise me. Probably won't, but maybe it'll surprise me. XP! XP for me! Well, for Sobble, but, you know. Uh, oh, there's a thing here. I want it. Okay. I think it's little tool tips, that's fine. Let me see what I didn't see. Or it was just that and I just came up on him. Well no, because it was some kind of shrouded. Okay. Well, yeah. Anyway. Bring it on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got nothing. Well but actually let's go and try this new one to see what this looks like. Okay. Apologies for the dog. If everyone can hear it. Two chipmunks. And another chipmunk. So there are definitely just kind of Pokemon that are hidden. But not all of them are going to be visible to you right as you get out there. It seems also the ones that are... Oh, wow, that's... Ooh. Uh, uh, Sobble, little buddy. Little pal. Little amigo. Oh, wait, when did I get potions? A ain't I already have Pokeballs? Oh, what am I doing, then? You're mine. A little rat. Cool. I didn't realize I already had a lot of these. Okay, I'm gonna do the XP thing for catching as well. 
Yeah, thank you, Chipmunk. Back up for just a second. Uh, yeah, in that case, let's go ahead and heal my little buddy. And, uh, not sure what that mind. Is bird brain? Bird brain's over here. Too nervous to eat berries. Good thing I don't have any berries. Okay, that's a, that's a decent level. Ooh, you look at me all mean like. Oh, it doesn't matter. Because now, I'm gonna catch you. Man, can I get like a full team of six before I even go to the focus center? Nice. Like that. Okay, so I got the. I got the British Rattata. Okay, also doing the same thing where. That's right, the XP share is essentially turned on. I don't have an option to turn it off. Right? At least I don't think I do. Uh, tech speed, battle effects, send the boxes, nicknames, shower scope. Vertical camera, horizontal camera, honestly, casual control, nicknames, skip these. Nope, so it is just on. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. I don't exactly like that, but. Meh. It's a caterpie. I love caterpie. Allows me to obtain the mighty Butterfree. So let's see if I can't catch you. He was squeezed by Saul. Yeah, you are level 3, so... Oh, then I do have the quick option just right at the start. That's an unfair deal. Oh. Oh, okay. No, no, that makes sense. Okay, so, uh... Yeah. Throw them ball. Don't exactly want to catch people from the old generation, but... I also know that Giganta Butterfree is a thing, so... And... Butterfree is a Butterfree is an all-time favorite for me. For whatever reason. Mostly Pokemon abridged, because the mighty Butterfree is fantastic. Cool. So we got that. Let's back up a little bit. Okay, you got something fancy going on. What you got? What's all fancy about you? Why well, you got little things around you? Okay, on there, that's great. I'm guessing you're higher level, I guess. That's not bad. If that is actually the case. But we'll see if that's the case or not. Meh. If there's sand in my eyes, I can't have that. Controls how the uh, game actually gives experience to each Pokemon. Hmm. 120W. I don't know what that is. <gasps> Yay! I was hoping there'd be one of these guys. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, let's give it a whirl. Let's see if I can just get lucky. I'm interested to see what you do. Look at these, another level up. Excellent. Nicked it. Like it. Cool. And nothing special about you, Lulu, so I'm gonna just let you go. Nothing special about any of you. I'll see what you are, though, because you're hiding. Now, here's another one of these guys the off brand, the British Rattata. Which is fine. 
I mean, nothing's wrong with British Rattata. I found British Rattata. I found British Pidgey. Actually, it'd be pretty British Sparrow, maybe? Closer to Sparrow than it would be to Pidgey, I think. Lots of angles and uh, whatnot. Angles, mean looks. Wow, that's that's early. And let's just go around. Let me see real quick, because beat up is not one that I've used. That's interesting. You're a dark type. Okay, okay. Music gets all the Pokemon to attack the target. The more party Pokemon, the greater number of attacks. Okay, so it's just... Yeah, basically teaming up on everybody. That's weird that I haven't actually used a, uh... Like, really a dark type that often. Okay, run away. Shield dust, which is normal, on nerve. Cheek pouch. Storage HP as well when the Pokemon needs a berry. Okay, that's kind of nice. And then Torrent, which is kind of the normal for the starters. Okay, okay. Not bad. Bypass all you guys. Well, dang, I should have gotten, gotten that Wulu when it was over on the other side. It's fine. I'm sure I can come back and get another Wulu. Uh, but I don't need to fight you right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get up on that here. I I'm a head out. I'm a head on out. Don't mind me. Big old Charizard. Ultimate Charizard. Oh. Interesting. You don't actually need to talk to everybody. Okay. What's in the train station? But they do a rail car inspection. Okay. You. Oh, nope, I'm gonna sit. Alright, cool. Now I'm not. Now I'm gonna talk to you. The world you see out the window of a train never stops changing. Isn't it lovely? I suppose so. Welcome to the Pokemart. Oh, okay. But you don't have anything I want currently. Also, they gave you 30 grand. That's a lot to start. No, I don't want to buy anything. Go away. I want Pokeballs. I just remembered what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon Lab, on the opposite sign is the Pokemon Station. Okay. Well, that's helpful. Well, now let's, let's explore a little bit. These are new things. Let's break into this person's house. What's in here? Nothing of interest. The rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab. But Professor Magnolia, if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at her home down on the far end of Route 2. Okay. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. Uh, and in comes Charizard. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. Yes, we, we know. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you? I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. Fancy. Gotta give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here sure looks fascinating. Oh, it's the dog. Electric puppy. What is it today, Leon? Looking for another never before seen super strong Pokemon? I'd wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests.
Your coat bells out quite a lot. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here's a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. Came to my rescue plenty of times in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonya. What can I say about Sonya? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget what rivals doing our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping out, I did too. Your coat still bows out in a weird way. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonya. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Bruno. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? Okay, bye. <sighs> what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. No wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got Rotom then. Hi there, Rotom. Oh, okay. Your Tom phones are handy little things, aren't they? Got a map and a navigation tool? That said, the aunts took its loss, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Yeah, I've only been playing it for a while. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Hooray! Just so you know, that Pokedex is a, dip, is a gift from our Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She has the house down Long Route 2. But first, let me see if there's anything in this house that I can steal. Okay, so they're looking at dragons. Specifically Charizard, because they are obsessed with Charizard. Gigantification of Pokemon, which is probably all the books up here. No, it's not for Dynamax. That's fine. Regarding the challenges Pokemon can undergo, do not change appearance when they're up. They can also do so through use of certain items or under the influence of the area they are in in some cases. It's hypothesized that some factor within the Pokemon itself is what allows for these changes to form their biology, form and biology. But thus far, conclusive evidence of such a factor cannot be found by researchers. Nope. Researchers have spent all of their lives trying to figure out Pokemon, learn Pokemon and all that, and then I come in <laughs> and then in comes the Protag I mess up the economy, I catch everything hey, why are you stopping me, boy? you just left the Pokemon lab, right? so that means you got Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff okay it's a potion. Use them when your Pokemon's HP and their hit points get low. HP is like a Pokemon stamina. You can even use Pokemon's potions to remember. Knowledge, power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Great. And what's behind here? Yeah, rare candy. I like that. Though it's... These kind of aren't really the greatest things to use anymore, isn't it? If you ever lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty town map. Leon's just amazing. Superstar to everyone. I want to be a professional Pokemon trainer when I grow up, but I can't think about Pokemon day in day out the way Leon does. You're weak, child. I saw Leon at the station. He has such a powerful presence. I recognized him before he even got close. That Charizard pose. Just doing that pose longer than makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. You haven't, but alright. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? It's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention battling what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got the Pokemon centers. Lucky yet, yeah, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Bruno, I bet you've never been inside one. Nope, I've spent my entire life in my home. I've never gotten outside of that, ever. Level with me, Bruno. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? No. Then I don't think you need to tell me what you already know. Oh, thank you. Why well, would I buy some potions before you head out? Cheers, I'm already good, though. Head to Route 2, Bruno. Come find me, maybe, when you're done. Cool. Thank you. Is that an Dino? Oh, whoa, hello. Pretty sure that is an Dino, which is nice. 
but you can interesting you can have your Pokemon okay that changes things a lot it's true that Pokemon wild Pokemon can be scary but once become the allies there's nothing but once they become your allies there's nothing more reliable Uh, let's not buy anything yet. I'll go talk to the professor and see if she gives me free stuff. I love free stuff. <laughs> this month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Hmm? Do you want me to tell you your fortune, too? Sure, why not? In that case, can you tell me the month you were born? What month were you born in? Nine. Next, I need to know what day. Got it. So your birthday is 9.30? So you were born at 9.30, your fortune is... Let's see... Ooh, what does this stand here? This must be from my snack. Page is much, and I can't even need it. People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run to a legendary Pokemon. Or maybe not. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> okay. That'll come back in some fashion later. Ah, yeah. Here's what I want. Fun. Yes, there we go. There we go. This is what I wanted to see. I actually do kind of like that. That's pretty nice. That one's a bit. Oh god, that is. That's a. That's a shirt. Okay. Okay. Skinny trousers. All right. That's kind of cool. I like it. I'll take it. Yes, I would like to put it on at once. Screen hoodie, we'll do that. Alright, cool. Yeah, put it on. I like the pants I have. So keep that. Bunch of sock choices. Okay, well, sorry about that. Loafers? God, why am I wearing... I'm like 10. Why am I wearing loafers? Travel bag. Eh, it's okay, I guess. Scout cap. Bearing colors. Knit cap. I like that. And that's it. Yeah, let's do that. No, do I want that or do I want the... Hmm. I like the colors, like the way the blue kind of matches better with the navy, rather. Nice. Yes. Glasses, sure. So I don't really like it, well... Not bad. Yeah. So, and I don't think I can. I don't think I. Oh no, no, no! I don't think I can do. Don't think I can quite do gloves. Feel free to use changing room whenever you like. Okay, so yeah, you get to buy a lot of things. That's kind of cool. It's fun to do shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. Can indeed. <gasps> There's a thing. I want it. Wow. I haven't. Okay. I haven't seen that in a while. Having a meal with a Pokemon makes the food take extra good. Taste extra good. I heard that Leon is a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer, just like Leon. Barriers. I got your barriers here. What'd you say? Interested in something? 
Uh, now nah, I'm alright. At least for the moment. Anyway, continuing on. Listen, Bruno, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? I mean, yeah. I know competition where trainers can battle. Can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is, you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't think, seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I thought I would talk to the professor, she, she could help. You've got to take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep going stronger, after all. It keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is down our route too, so let's head there and give our teams a chance to train up a bit along the way. Is this not route two? Must not be. No, it's not. Leon loves Pokemon, loves Pokemon battles. I remember he'd always go all out, even on practice matches. Sonya and Leon have a healthy rivalry, but... But... Is there anything else you gotta say, bud? No? Alright, that's fine. Off we go. Roger, we got the full strength of a Pokemon trait. This must be knowledgeable. Oh, wait. Now that I have one. Hey, Rotom. <laughs> wait, what do, you, what do you mean current recommendations? That's just one that I need to... Do, I guess. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with swipes of its tail and makes off its plunder. Okay. These berries don't stop. A habit that makes it more resilient than it looks. Better show up on farms, searching for yet more berries. Jumping nimbly about, this small body Pokemon takes the takes advantage of even the slightest op opportunity to disorient larger opponents. Oh. It's short tip feet with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. Sobble, the water lizard Pokemon. When it gets wet, its skin changes colors, and this Pokemon becomes invisible as if it were camouflaged. Okay. So I guess because of where I am, it's telling me, you know, things I can catch, maybe? See the house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where Pokemon Professor lives. Oh, that's a, okay. Yeah, that's a ways out. Okay. There's a thing. Ah, uh, it was not right. On the way. On the way. On the way. Over here, Bruno. All right, Bruno. So we filled in our teams a bit. I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Oh, Lee, where'd you come from? Right behind you. Only look at you, Bruno. You already caught some of your own. Your mom gave you those Pokeballs, didn't she? I'll give you some more. In return, I'll only ask you to catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you're loading me up. I like that. The Pokemon on your team will get XP points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they get XP points from battles, so take on other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? See you later, bye. Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. Oh, cool. So again, I don't have to worry about that, because I've already got that taken care of. And sneak and sneak. Hello, Foxy. Okay, you guys have, you guys have leveled up kind of quickly. Yeah, all right. That's that's cool. Here's the thing, though. I uh, I got a bigger team than you do, so uh, that doesn't really do much, does it, bud? Oh, stop it! That's why it does that. That's kind of cool. 
Goodbye, Pokemon. Everyone levels up. Cool. Uh, let's switch Pokemon around a little bit here. Salvo, so we're gonna swap and we're gonna go to... We're gonna have Caterpie do some work here. Actually, I say that I need to go heal and... I'm gonna at least level them up real quick. But I don't think I'm gonna bother with keeping Caterpie on the party. At least not for now. Yeah, okay. That's cool. I mean, Caterpie's good. And I do very much like Caterpie, but I want to see the new stuff. So let's see if I can't go get a sheep real quick. Sheep! Easy enough. No, I probably can't catch it yet, so. Ram your face into it! Ooh. Um. That's not great. Oh, Caterpie is kind of sad. Okay. Go, my little fox. Go, Death Fox. Guess what? I have a lot more people on my team. Halfway down, let's see if it'll work. Nope. Nah, that's a shame. Okay. Uh, sure. Maybe a quick attack, real quick. Yeah. Okay, more defense curling. We'll try another beat up. Be a little lower. So, because you raised your defense a couple times here, so shouldn't be able to take you down. And then I'll at least. That's better. Yeah, just keep just keep wrapping yourself up, but cool. Now I'm gonna catch you. Now Fox is dead. Sorry, Foxy. Okay. Hey, bud, if you don't mind, uh, just hanging out here for a quick second while we, uh... We can do that, because this is a very low... Low-hitting move. I'll just do that real quick and then I think you'll get hit again with it. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Go into your home. Stay in your home. That's better. Good sheepy. Level up. Hmm. 
It's a sheepy. Wooloo, the sheep Pokemon. If its fleece grows too long, Wooloo won't be able to move. Cloth can be made with the wool of this Pokemon. Cloth made with the wool of this Pokemon is surprisingly strong. Great job on filling the Pokedex. There's a lot of Pokemon you haven't caught. Let's catch more Pokemon. I mean, I realize that I'm in, still in the first area yet. Okay. So now I really need to go and heal my guys. So, let's go heal up. Now we got a full team of six. Let's try out some of the new blood. So, you know, I like having you, so we're going to put you up front. What do you got? Do you just have tackle? Fluffy has the damage take from moves that make direct contact, but doubles fire moves. Okay. Okay, so yeah, just tackle. That's fine. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna bypass everyone and we're gonna go into this next area. And basically just watch Caterpie level up real quick. You're a fancy looking one. I don't know what these W things mean yet, but you're a fancy looking one. You know what to do, my dude. See, that's mean. I gotta beat you up now. Some major fluke behind him, so that's. Oh, that's not gonna be good. See, that's just me. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just switch out here. Um, because, uh, yeah, obviously my other guys aren't really doing that great. You got this right, Sobble? Yeah, you got this. Uh, so that makes me wonder if the fox is more of a special attacker than a physical attacker. Possible. Cool. Level up, level up, level up. And that means that everyone's favorite bug needs to evolve. Well, that was quick. Cool. Metapod, the cocoon Pokemon. Even though it is encased in a sturdy shell, the body inside is tender. It can't withstand a harsh attack. See, you say that, but... Gain 140W, what does this mean? Uh, let's see. Uh, because... You're looking a little sad right now, my little buddy. Okay. Let's just quick attack for a bit here. Maybe I think one just had high defense. That seemed to do alright, but... Hmm. 
I want to use a quick attack. This battle is so fast. Sparks fly in this heated battle. You're new! Blip bug. Okay. You have the biggest eyes on the face of the earth. Oh, yeah, that's... Mm, that's not good. Uh, you know, let's switch over to something that's not going to be quite as, uh... Not gonna get beat up by this bug too much. Yeah, eat berries now. Well, hello, new friend. Um. Ooh, what do you do? is strength that attacks the target. The more the user stats are raised, the greater the need to fall. Uh, so it, you know, pair that with a cone claws, for instance, and it becomes real big. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. I don't really need to use that right now, though. I mostly just need to come in to catch this dude. Speaking of which, go to your home. I need to see what British Caterpie turns into. Nice. Making our way through. Doing good work. Cool. Foxy Lady got another level. Blipbug, the larva Pokemon. Often found in gardens, this Pokemon has hairs on its body that it uses to assess its surroundings. Cool. Sent to a box, that's fine. Oh, there's the rich kid. Not everyone's favorite rich kid. Oh, and a fishing rod? Wow, that... They've given us so many different things already. It's the rich kid. And probably just like everything else, as soon as our eyes meet, we must do battle. ba ba da ba da ba da it's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. <laughs> so if you don't want to battle, you just like look down at the ground the entire time. It's like, no, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight. And then as soon as you look at somebody, oh, we must fight now. Okay, well. Let's, let's try to the defense a little bit here first. Okay, I'm faster, which which is good. Let me just crash into me. All right, let's try it. Take him down. There we go. There's one decent one. Yeah, okay, that, that's pretty good.
You scary fox man. This is scary, my foxy boy. For the bird brain. Yeah, beat up the youngster. Okay. Hey, yo, what up? What's going on? A massacre beating up all these squirrels. Which is good. Yeah, this one's this is not doing quite as much this time. There's at least one. Not great. Is Foxy Man dead? Foxy Man's alive. Which is good. Bring out the thing that can't take a sturdy hit. It is also a different uh, level Pokemon here. Probably not going to be much better, but he's yeah, fine, I guess. Ramming my face into you until you stop being a threat. Okay, not at that moment. Now it's time to go ahead and heal up. Get the most out of my potion that I can. It could be bad, but I hope it's not. Kind of bad. Yeah, so it's time to switch back out. We'll switch to the fluffy one. Woo! 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 Yeah, it's fine. Thing. I'm fluffy! I'm so fluffy! If this sheep doesn't learn to roll out, it's gonna be such a missed opportunity. Yeah, levels up. Got home claws. Okay. That's fine, I guess. What's this? What's this? There's beds up. There's medicine everywhere. There's medicine everywhere. Oh, whoops. I'm not meaning to stop. Oh, Purloin. Cool. I actually don't care about you. Oh yes, I'm still in pain. So we're gonna switch up to the Wooloos. I actually didn't want that. That's fine. You also used a move that doesn't really work. Because you have to use that turn one. Vaguely roll in his direction. Keep vaguely rolling in his direction. Mix 
stop that. You're making it really hard to get through this fight. Yes, I know I could just, you know, do the logical thing and, like, switch out a Pokemon. But, I just want to spam tackle. Every day, tackle. Okay. It's great. Everything's leveling up. You look new. You are new. You are a chootle. And I apologize. Okay, no, it stopped. Excellent. There was a uh, car alarm going off outside. Hmm. Yeah, let's switch out. Let's get. Let's get my little bird brain out. I want the good old turtle. Give me that turtle. Okay, you're a water type. Interesting. Good to know. Beat y'all up. I, mean, I don't need two water types out of the gate, but couldn't hurt. Okay. Yeah, you're a little more. Got a little more meat behind you. Let's just gonna get you down a little deeper. Okay. Oh wow, you're real good. And yeah, you just beat up my bird brain. That's unfortunate. Uh, cool. Well, let's bring out the guardian. The pathetic looking guardian. And actually, it's probably not the guardian. Probably Lulu would be the guardian because it's fluffy. Anyway, got the turtle. Gotta love that turtle. Woo! Copycat, okay. Mm. Chewtle. Chewtle, the snapping Pokemon. It starts off battles by attacking with its rock hard horn, but as soon as the opponent flinches, this Pokemon bites down and never lets go. Okay, okay. Let's switch Pokemon up here a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll swap you to be first. And you... No, I'm not going to use a revive just on you. Keep going. Okay. Sidetrack some guys here for a second. More Pokemons. Now let's battle something. Alright. You guys are really, uh... popped all your levels up real fast. You were like level 2 and 3 just a, uh, just a route ago, and now you're up to like 8. Oh well. It's so probably what I'll do is I'll let Metapod get up to level nine there and then just use the uh what you call it? Use the What's the word I'm looking for here guys? Rare candy, there we go. Go ahead and just switch out Metapod and start using the newbies. Goodbye, bird brain.
Who's first? Is it still chipmunk? Yep. Cute and strong, together in combination. I don't know about that. You call him cute? Alright. I mean, if you think so. Um, num 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 num. Tonight I die on turtle soup. Oh, whoops. Wrong game. Sorry, guys. The tasty turtle is apparently very tasty. More experience. Yeah. I'll be cute and nothing more. It looks like our strength still has a ways to go. Now, here's the problem. In comes Protag. And Protag is always going to be basically stronger than anything you have, because that's kind of the point. Well, I shouldn't say always, because I suppose it's possible for the Protag to lose battles. I couldn't beat Hop, so I'm gonna beat you. No. No, you won't. Hop can't beat me. Alright, well. Let's eat some bugs. Okay. Yep, eat all the bugs. Eat them all up. I'm um, not, no, no, no. Um num 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 num. Um num 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 num. Oh, Metapod's almost there. Okay. Now just beat him up because I can't bite him. Well, I can't bite him, but it won't do me any good. Yeah, beat him up. Yeah, that one, my defense isn't going to do anything. Cool. The foxy one is down. Level up for him. Level up for Sobble. Water Pulse. Alright, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's a really good move for that early. Um, yeah, let's get rid of Pound. And Bloop. Hooray. Do 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 More chipmunks, it looks like. Oh, what's over here? What's over here? What's over here? Yeah. Go on, something's here, right? Yeah, there we go. It's a carp. It's everyone's favorite carp. Let's beat him up. I'm glad that move still does nothing. Om nom the carp. Om nom the carp. Yeah. Delicious carp. I want that thing. I don't know what that thing is, but I want it. More carps. Carps for days. 
probably all I'm going to get for right now, so I should probably just leave it be. I mean, I can hope against hope that I'll get something else, but... I'm going to try one more. See if there is something else in here. You can at least try to... Yeah, one more should be fine. Because then... The Metapod should be... Back up. That looks like a torpedo fish. Come on. One last carp. Actually, no. If you can give me something else, that'd be great. No, it's more carps. Carp, 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 carp. Carps for days. This is fine. Carps aren't all bad. They're not great. Hey, I found a nice quick way to kind of level up the bug, so he's actually, you know, at an appropriate level for probably where I'm about to go. So, we'll just do a little bit of, do a little bit of grinding here. Metapod's up to level 9. Hooray! Which means that I can quickly just give him some candy, shove it down his non-existing mouth, And he's level 10. And now, becomes the mighty Butterfree. Yeah. The mighty Butterfree has returned. Butterfree, the butterfly Pokemon. It collects honey every day. It rubs honey into the hairs on its legs to carry it back to its nest. Every day I'm collecting. Sorry. I learned gust. Good. That means it's not completely useless. And then. See you later. Bye. Uh, maybe? Can I... Hmm. Do I not have the ability to switch out from my box yet? Doesn't look like it. Well, that's unfortunate. That's fine. I'm sure that'll change here soon. So, let's... Yeah, let's just switch out here real quick. And we'll put everyone's favorite guardian up front. The fluffy one. Look, there's a professor. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of Dynamax Phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness no. This whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Oh, youngsters. Dear me, I'm sorry I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Pretty sure you are the oldest professor on the face of the earth. Why, Hop, dear, I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Bruno. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamax and Rap Bruno. Professor Magnolia has been doing research on the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamax into the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. 
I mean, he's good, but I don't know about that. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Harp and Bruno only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. <laughs> Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> you right. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then. In that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Hey, thanks. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Bruno. Let's save real quick. Since I haven't actually saved. Let's go see what this old woman has that I can take. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. Okay, that's fine. So yes, now let's go outside. Let's have yet another battle. <gasps> There's a thing back there! I want it! I like how it is actually kind of playing with the sun here. It's kind of shining off. Ooh, it's a great ball. Nice. Bottle of fresh water. I love water. It's so much cheaper than potions. Anything back here? <gasps> there is a thing back here. It's a TM. Nice. Stores power that attacks. If the user move out, if the user moves after the target, the attack power is doubled. Cool. I think all my Pokemon are kind of fast, though. Whoops. And also, really, the only one who can. Come on, Bruno! You've got to battle me so I can get that endorsement. I mean, the only one who probably could learn it is nicked it, but. He's probably going to learn it normally anyway. So. Alright. Let's give... Eh, you know. I like Nickton. You're going to be first. Alright. Yeah, everything everything I got, I know. I, I gotcha. I got you, fam. I'm rather interested in seeing how you young trainers battle, too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. Show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. See, so you say that, but... I'm going to be the one that wins. Partially because I have double the Pokemon you do, but... we gotten a bit stronger, me and my team will put you to the test and see. Okay, so... Let's... Let's actually do good and power up a little bit in this one. So lower your defense. Yeah, you come and beat me in the face, that's fine. Sharpen up. My non existent claws. And then you lower it. Great. Let's do it again. Man, you do not want me to have an attack up, do you? Fine. I like this. This is good. Is it the one hit wonder? Not quite. Almost. You're gonna run into me. Run into my face. 
Just a little quick. What ha? Dust off my tracks. Cool. Yeah. Levels. Everyone gets levels. It's score buddy. Alright. Howdy, friend. You came to the wrong neighborhood, bub. Oh, you're faster than me, huh? Let's tackle up some kick. Lie to me. You're gonna get beat up. Six times. And I'm feeling lucky. Let's try it again. Taste of our power. Our flames are burning bright. Oh right, you have that move now, so I'm probably Oh no, I'm fine. Nice. Man, this move is like stupid good. How have I never used a dark Pokemon before? Or not one that had beat up. It'll be a close one. That's exactly my sort of match. Yeah, alright. Oh. Oh, friendo. I'm I'm terribly sorry that. You've you've met with a terrible fate. Uh, yeah, let's switch over to. Uh, actually, no, I'll switch over to the chipmunk. Ow! Don't you look at me all mean like. Now I'm gonna eat you. Um, nom 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 And even I got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. The string of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Bruno Hub, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both endorsement as a champion. Okay. Type of recommendation in order to participate in the gym challenge. Interesting. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm gonna win through the gym. I'm gonna win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. <laughs> you may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. Hob, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out, things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd worried about you obsessing over that nonsense, but it seems you've really only grown a little bit, little brother. I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Bruno. Alright, Bruno. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Yeah. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. <gasps> What's that? Wow, that, okay, I don't know about this. Bruno, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since they're two of them, you should take one yourself. What? A stone fell in the Galar region. It says your dreams come true if you find one. I wonder if this, this is probably like Gigantamax or Dynamax or something. Ah, yes, thank you. Great. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? 
I'll be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever! There. I've said it three times, so certainly my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region. But they won't do a thing for you in this state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. All right. You've done heaps of research for the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? And please, give Gruno and me the power to Dynamax our Pokémon. First, we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in Slumber Wheel, and now this, it feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Oh, seems I came right back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. They are kind of spot on on their British inspiration here. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young trainers. Hop, is it true that you really met some Pokemon you didn't realize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was a weird heavy fog and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Bruno tried to fight it off, but I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. Alright, fount of information, you are. Bruno, Hop, these are for you. All my things are getting merged together at this point. I got the Dynamax band. A wishing star has been affixed to it. it. Let's out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Okay. <laughs> a power spot? Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as that. There's a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help you fill out your Pokedex, too. The Legend of My Reign is finally about to begin. Yeah, alright. Have, have at it, Hop. Come on, Bruno, I'll beat you to the station. What does this do? Wycom. Let you connect with a Pokemon. Okay, cool. I want a truly surprising way. Select a Pokemon trade and leave the rest up to us. As in, as you adventure, we'll find an eligible partner to carry the trade. So let's take care of your only job choosing a Pokemon you're willing to trade. Well, I don't want to trade any of these guys. At least not as of yet. I oh, know, I already looked up here. There's nothing up here for me. That's fine. Now, don't be afraid to get to all sorts of... Yes, I know. A strange Pokemon in the slumbering quiet. I don't know. I've got an uneasy feeling for some reason. Oh, it's fine. It's a shoot all. Squee. Do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you keep that in mind, plants will... I don't think it works like that, old man. I don't think plants want... One last thing before we race, Bruno. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wandering about in the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. Need a full poke Need a foolproof trick? Press the left stick. 
try it out. Let's see if we catch the most Pokemon, Bruno. You realize I have like triple the Pokemon you do right now, right? You remember what church station, right? Where I went to pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal, so see you there. And I think that'll be a good place for us to uh, stop our Pokemon adventure, at least here for the moment. Ooh, what are those? Those look like Barracuda. Or something like that. Either way, I want one. But I can't have it yet, because I don't think I can... I don't have any way to surf. Anyway. So. I think we are done here for the day. But thank you so much for joining me on this chapter of... Pokemon, this is, it's much better than I was expecting, so I think this is going to be a good time but anyway, I hope you will join us back here once again for some more Pokemon action, thank you so much for watching here today please like and subscribe if you feel so inclined, I would very much appreciate it myself, but you know, I'm not the one who's you know, making you choose that is your decision, I can't tell you if you like this or not if you have any comments, leave them below. See how I can improve, or if you want to see something else. Thank you so much, guys, and I will catch you next time on the Gaming Library.